Okay, we're looking at uh, 5.1. Okay. So we're going to have 5x times the square root. You know what? I'm looking at this problem going. I better allow some serious room here. We're going to have 5x times the square root of 3x squared minus x squared square root of 300 plus 2y. That y got a little out of hand, didn't it? And then 8y squared and then plus the square root of 8y to the fourth. Okay. Alright, well we got a square number in here, x squared, and it's square rooted, so I think that'll be pretty easy. Right, the square root of x squared is just x, we'll bring it out front, and then we're left with square root of 3x, and there's nothing more we can do there. What about this 300? We know that uh, 10 times what? 30? It's 300? Right, and uh, we need a square. We need a square, square, square. Let's see. Uh, Thirty is three times ten, and we got a ten. Okay, I see. Yeah. Oh, a hundred times three. No kidding. Okay, and a hundred is a square number. So that's going to be uh, ten squared times three. Yeah. Okay. We'll just leave it like that for right now. Okay. What about this? This is uh, 2 to the 4th power, right? No. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is... No. Ooh, yeah. yeah. So we got 2y. This is a square here, so we'll bring that out for sure. And um, this is going to be 2 squared times 2. Right? Yeah. We'll just leave it like that. Plus... And then the same thing here. We've got uh, 2 squared times 2 times y to the fourth. All right, let's go back down through here. So we got 5x squared, square root of 3x. Um, okay. See something that I did wrong here. So there's probably people out there screaming at me. That should just be the square root of three, because the square root of x squared is just x. We brought it out front. Like looking at that, going something is fishy going on here. All right, minus, and then what do we got going on here? We got uh, this is going to be 10x squared. And this will be the square root of 3. Okay, so we've got like radicals and like terms, 5x squared and minus 10x squared. So we'll be able to join those together. That looks good. Let's take a look at what's going on over here. So this is going to end up being uh, the square root of 2 squared is 2. We'll bring that out front. That'll make that a 4y squared. And then we'll just be left with the square root of 2 plus... Now this one here, we got 2 squared, which I can barely see it, so that's going to be 2, and then, okay, so we're going to have 2, and then the square root of y to the 4th is going to be y squared, right, y squared, and then this will be the square root of 2, all right. Well, as you can see here, we've got like radicals, of course, we already talked about this, like terms out front, we'll be able to join those together, that's going to be minus 5 x squared times square root of 3 and then these guys over here we got a 4y squared, 2y squared, those are like and a square root of 2 square root of 2. So we'll be able to add those together 4, 5, 6 y squared times the square root of 2 and it looks like that's all we're going to be able to uh, do with that particular one um, right there. Okay, so Anyway, I think that's just going to, uh, I think we're done with uh, that particular problem.
done with 5.1. It's been five minutes now. So let's move on to 5.2. And we're over here at gotomat.com. See you there.